All right, like most Idaho life stories, this one started with the question, I wonder, as in, I wonder who paints the flagpoles at the Idaho State House. Well, way back in August of 2004, I found out when I looked up and found Toby Anderson strapped to a pole on the Capitol's West Lawn. That pole, no longer there, but Toby still paints flagpoles, just not around here. Here's Toby in his Idaho Prime from 15 summers ago for a 208 redial. All right, here we go again. Toby Anderson has spent his summer seeing the city like nobody else. Going up takes a while. <laughs> from the side of a flagpole. First summer doing it and uh, I'm loving it. Toby's a teacher at CUNA High School. <laughs> Only my students saw me. He wanted a summer job, just not a normal one. Working at a camp, that's a normal summer job. So he started his own company and called it Andy's uh, Steeplejack Flagpole Painting and Repair. Being a steeplejack has actually been the family business. Yeah, my uh, grandpa started it. Toby's dad continued it, and now Toby is keeping it going by keeping himself strapped to a steel staff. I always ask myself, why'd I do this? <laughs> it's a great view, that's why. Today's view. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. As seen from the state capitol. And this is the cream of the crop. This is the capitol building. It's supposed to be shiny and, and very uh, clean and sharp looking here. And I think doing these poles will definitely add to that. These poles and this pole out front and this pole on the west lawn. That was a lot higher. <laughs> That's more than 300 stately feet of shiny silver steel. You got to be more than 100 feet up there. See, that doesn't help hearing right now. <laughs> Once he makes it to the top, all right, that's as high as I can go. Toby paints his way down. Those are ozone friendly spray cans. Excellent. <laughs> Seeing as how you're so close to the ozone. <laughs> he may be the only person to get this close to this flagpole, but Toby takes pride in painting every inch. How's it look? He's not crazy. How you doing so far? Hanging in there. Literally. He's just a teacher. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. Trying to supplement his salary. This job is going to buy me a riding lawnmower. One flagpole at a time. Oh, I feel so much safer. Brian Holmes. At least three feet more safer. Idaho's News Channel 7. Well, for the record, Toby got that riding lawnmower that summer, paid 150 bucks for it. Well, then he sold it a couple years later when he moved to California. He didn't stop painting flagpoles, though, although he hasn't done it in a couple of years because he recently got married has been buying a house and settling into family life. But he still remembers that day in August when we hurt our necks looking up at him the whole time. Boy, I gave them a great deal on that flagpole at the Capitol <laughs> building on the West Lawn. I gave them a great deal. When I think about what I'm getting now, I'm like, I cannot believe I climbed 101 feet high and for eight hours and what I got paid was piddly squat. And <laughs> that's still the highest and I will never go that high again. That scared the living daylights out of me. You saw me, I kind of slipped and I, I didn't ever tell you this, but that freaked me out so much. <laughs> So you're still teaching? Oh yeah, yeah. In my twenty uh, uh, second year now, and it's kind of odd doing it on the computer over here now for the next couple of weeks. You know, uh, actually, it's been four weeks now, and we'll finish out the school year this way. And I, I feel horrible for our, our seniors. You know, I love the Bay Area. There's so much diversity. Well, our school, we did a survey about three, four years ago, and now uh, forty four ethnicities in our one school that are represented. That is just, I love that. So you got a baby on the way. Yeah, uh, uh, May 21st. May 21st. Do you see yourself getting back out there in the steeplejack? Yes, yeah. yeah especially with the, our little fella on the way, it'd be nice to be able to have kind of a, a second income coming. So uh, if I can pull that off, and if it means, you know, going out on a Saturday and painting a pole or two, I got all the equipment right in the garage. <laughs> Well, Toby teaches life management classes at Milpitas High School, which is just outside of San Jose. Life management, things like how to be assertive and financially responsible, like maybe how to get a side job in case you want to buy some lawn equipment. We'll be right back.